Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Lucas with N4Baby.com. I've got BlackBerry's Z30. It's their company's first 5-inch device. And I've got the Note 2 next to it. I would have shown you the Note 3, but unfortunately the Note 3 is in a category nearly of its own. Because uh, that device sports a 1080p screen with a 386 PPI. Uh, which is also Super AMOLED. Um, that one also has a quad core. Uh, it's got a quad core GPU. Um, it's also got 3 gigs RAM, uh, 13 megapixel camera, so it's just a beast of a device. Uh, it's also 5.7 inches for the screen. Um, so the Note 2 is a much more comparable device, um, despite being one year old, because uh, it did come out in August 2012. Um, so yeah, we'll start out. The Note 2 has a quad-core uh, CPU and also a quad-core GPU, um, but the but the Z30 only has a uh, a, a quad-core GPU and a dual-core uh, CPU. So the Note 2 definitely beats um, the Z30 in terms of processing power. Um, the Z30 uh, screen though beats the Note 2. Um, in PPI, the Z30's got 295, whereas the Note 2 only has 265. Um, both are 720p, um, but the Z30 is 5 inches, whereas the Note 2 is 5.5 inches. Um, but the clarity in both devices are nearly identical. Um, I'll zoom in so you can see the icons, but can't really. Uh, tell too much difference honestly in the devices but after a certain uh, pixels uh, count your eye can't really tell the difference anyways uh, but um, the you know both have uh, five rows of icons um, in terms of the operating system uh, the Note 2 and the Z30 both feature um, 2 gigs RAM uh, and they both also have a uh, 8 megapixel rear camera and the single flash uh, LED flash and the Note 2 features a, uh, a 1.9 megapixel front camera and the Z30 has got a uh, 2 megapixel uh, front facing camera so not too, too big of a difference um, and if you look at uh, the glass on the devices uh, you can tell that that BlackBerry really wanted to encompass the the Note kind of uh, look because they both look very similar at the top uh, and just the way the glass kind of uh, is smooth and flush around the, the top of the, of the device of course the the bottom's completely different because the Note 2 is like that all the way around so BlackBerry didn't want to make it look exactly like that so it ends right here and as the the bezel around it uh, begins the bezel, I'm not sure if it's the same magnesium alloy as the Z10, um, but the silver finish is certainly painted. Uh, you can tell that I chipped it right there, and underneath it's got a uh, black color. So, um, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is definitely quite plasticky. Um, Samsung's known for for that, uh, but both the devices have the uh, headphone jack at the top. The Z30's got uh, its on off button on the top, whereas the Note 2 uh, has that on the side, where the Z30's got the volume rocker, and then the Note 2's volume rocker uh, is right here on the other side. Uh, then BlackBerry's got their uh, HDMI out port, and then the, uh, the micro USB, whereas the Note 2 only has the micro USB. However, the Note 2 does have its infamous S Pen. So you can use that pen to uh, to select things on on the device and whatnot. So it's really nice for editing documents and uh, it's got like a S draw function, so you can use it to draw pictures and and so on. Um, so that's cool if you if you like that. Um, the backs of the device are both removable. Uh, the Note Two is. This a very flimsy uh, device, but both feature NFC 
And uh, the Note 2 has a bigger battery than the, uh, the Z30. The Z30's got a non-removable 2880 milliamp battery, whereas the, uh, the Note 2's got a removable 3100 milliamp uh, battery. Um, so you can certainly get a little more talk time on the Note 2 than the Z30. And of course it's removable, so you don't have to wait to uh, charge the device. Um, so put this back on. Many people wonder why uh, BlackBerry would make a removable back plate for the Z30, but it's uh, it's really just so you can have access to you know the the uh, micro SD uh, slot and then also the SIM card slot. Uh, and then we did hear that they the company was planning on doing uh, different kind of back plates like they have done for the Note 3, but as of the as of this time. There's no plan for that, uh, so who knows? Maybe third parties will will make some that you can swap out then. But um, yeah, you know the Z30 compared to uh, compared to the Note 2 is quite good. Um, unfor you know it's just unfortunate that the Z30s come out now, even though this device was out has been out over a year, and the Z30 is still sporting a dual core processor, which is like two year old hardware but you know we saw Google now release the Moto X which also has just a dual core CPU so luckily that device is kind of keeping this guy in the game but um, yeah both uh, both about the same same uh, in thickness the Note 2 has it beat just by a, a little bit um, you can see how the device is or how the Z30 is just slightly smaller than the Note 2, but um, definitely I believe the uh, Z30 is more comfortable to hold versus the Note 2, and of course it's much easier to uh, to type on because it's slightly smaller, but um, I'll show you how the, the keyboards look. I just realized there was explicit word <laughs> on, uh, on the screen, but um, See how these look. So you can see how the keyboards look on each device. Um, the keys are yeah, relatively uh, similar in in terms of uh, their spacing, but obviously the Note 2 has got to be a little bit larger. But um, yeah, quite quite comparable devices. Samsung Note 2 versus the Z30. And um, yeah, make up your mind. <laughs> I definitely like the Z30 better, of course. I've got to. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.